Some people find out the people lie the easy way, and other people have to find out the hard way. And as you'll see from this clip here, this man has to find out the hard way. The clip I'm about to show you has been taken from the ITV program Golden Balls, in which, at the end of the program, the two contestants are pitted against each other for the jackpot. In this case, the jackpot is over £100,000. The contestants must pick whether to steal or split the money. If both choose to steal, no one gets a jackpot. If one chooses to split and the other chooses to steal, the person who chose to steal takes the entire jackpot for themselves. If they both go to split, the money is split equally down the middle. Whilst most people would tell you that this is a blind 50-50 decision, using the process of statement analysis, we can actually begin to tell whether this person is being deceptive or whether they are in fact telling the truth. Although this clip is an extreme example, you can actually use statement analysis in day-to-day -day life or in your favourite TV programmes. But, without further ado, let's get into the clip. Some talking to do to each other. Stephen, I just hope they weren't puppy dog tears and they were real oh. tears and you were genuinely going to split that money. I am going to split this. I, I, I just... 50,000. I'm... I'm just... Um, it's unbelievable. Okay, so first off, Let's look at the transcript of what he's just said. I'm going to split this. I'm just 50,000. It's just unbelievable. I'm very, very happy to go home with 50,000. The key part you should be picking up here is his statement of intent. I am going to split this. See, when people want to deceive each other, it's very rare that they will actually use an outright false statement. Instead, they'll just give you half-truths, not full-truths. Therefore, his statement of intent that he is going to split this is a big indicator that he is telling the truth. I'm very, very happy to go on with 50,000. If I stole off you, every single person there would run over here and lynch me. There was no way I could... I mean, everyone who knew me would just be disgusted if I stole. Now, for comparison, let's look at the transcript of what she's just said. There is no way I could... I mean, everyone who knew me would just be disgusted if I stole from you. See, when most people hear that, they interpret it as her saying, I'm going to split this money. However, it's worth noting, she never actually says it. And here we come to one of the key fundamental principles of detecting a lie. It's to know that people mean exactly what they say and to remove yourself from your own personal interpretation of their words. The other very subtle thing to notice here is her sudden switch from future tense, there is no way I could, to past tense, everyone who knew me. She never speaks in present tense. It's not everyone who knows her, it's everyone who knew her. When, when people watch this, they're not going to believe it. Please. I can look you not? in the... Sarah, I can look you straight in the eye and tell you, I am going to split. I swear down to you, I am going to split. Here we have another two direct statements of intent. A quick word of advice when looking for statements of intent is to always look at the sentence that came beforehand. For example, me saying something like, you know I'm going to split this, is a very different statement than me just saying, I'm going to split this. You have to take everything they say for its literal meaning. So for this example, the you know changes the meaning completely. For all I know, you think I'm going to split this, therefore I can make the statement, you know I'm going to split this, giving away no signs I'm being deceptive. However, the I am going to split this has no dependency on your knowledge at all, there's no variables, it's a direct statement. Therefore, you can generally assume that this person is going to split the money. Whilst this is no part of statement analysis, this is just a freeze frame that I quite enjoy. You can see the wry smile, which is a classic sign of someone who has just told a lie or is about to deceive you. Okay. This is serious money. It is. Sarah, Steve, choose either the split or the steel ball now. Hold it up. We're going on with 50 grand each. I promise you that. It's 
Split or steal. And in case you doubted the Rye smile exists, here's another example. You never know what's coming in this game. Congratulations, Sarah, you have just won one. And there we have it again, third time's the charm. 100,150 pounds. Stephen, I'm so sorry, commiserations, you've lost. And here's another brief but slightly unrelated tip. It's always look to see if the person goes to cover their mouth. Covering the mouth is a clear sign of someone who is lying because they're trying to hide the fact they are smiling or that their mouth is about to deceive you. Okay, so an unfamiliar feeling for one of you but a horribly familiar feeling for the other. This has been Golden Balls. Until next time, goodbye. So there you have it, the basics of statement analysis. These are just the basic notes from the video, so you can feel free to write these down or save them on your phone. And if you have enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and drop a subscription, because I'm going to be doing stuff like this, like detecting lies, charisma, analysis on famous people, at least once a week. So yeah, thanks for watching, and peace.